EQ the main vocal with boosts only, no cuts. I think the only cut I really made was filtering the lows here. So yeah, you can definitely still filter your lows. Vocals can be really cool just boosting and sound the most natural. So instead of maybe cutting that mud, maybe it's just boosting the highs to balance that out. Check this out. See, I boosted a little bit of 500 hertz or so for the fullness because the singer's voice was a little on the thin side. We boosted a little bit of 3.5 to make it cut through. I didn't boost much other stuff, but I have like Vintage Exciter, which is boosting a lot of highs. I'm boosting in the multi-band. You can see here, I'm boosting both these ranges by 4 dB. So there's a lot of boosting going on in the multi-band. But if you do want to boost a little more with the EQ, So now let's listen to the whole chain without anything. So yeah, that's a pretty big difference. You could tell that it was really muddy before and you could have just started cutting a bunch of stuff. Sometimes it's quicker to just boost nice sounding frequencies and a lot of times those cuts become irrelevant. If you guys like any of these plugins, these are all Waves plugins here. Uh, hit the uh, link in the description. Perfect Vocals Academy is an affiliate with Waves Audio, so if you want to help us out, buy your plugins through that link.